One, two, three. What's good, everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton. We back at it again with another podcast video, man. We are back. You know what I'm saying? I feel good, man. These videos feel real good. Like, I get super excited to sit down and talk to y'all, man. Like, really just... Uh, I don't know, man. I just really get excited to come sit down and talk to y'all. Like, especially when it's, like, certain things that's on my mind or I feel like I just want to talk. Uh, I told y'all, this shit feel like we just, like, sitting here with each other. You know what I'm saying? Having a conversation. Um, and recently, um, I kind of uh, just been thinking a lot about, like, it's 2024, so Happy New Year, actually. My fault. I ain't even start the video off, video off right. Happy New Year, man. Happy 2024 to all of you, man. I hope y'all have uh, great goals that y'all are going to accomplish this year and a lot of things that you're going to do better this year. Um, you reflected on last year, and now you're like, okay, you know what you want to plan out and what you want to kind of like get to this year. And actually, that's kind of what's been on my mind. Yesterday, I was watching a video. Um, I know it's low-key like a wild video, and he like exposing mad people and like talking about other hella shit, but I was watching this video of Cat Williams yesterday on YouTube, and it was a part of the interview that like struck me real hard, and he was just like, I posted it on my Instagram, so it's like actually on my Instagram page right now if you wanted to go see the video to see exactly what I'm talking about, like to hear him say it out his mouth. But basically he was saying, he was talking about like, if you live your life every day, like thinking as if this is the last day you're going to live on earth. He was saying like, if you live that way every single day, you will probably live your life totally different. Like imagine you wake up today and you like, okay, this is the last, like I know today is my last day. So what am I going to do? Like, how am I going to live it? What am I going to like put my efforts to put my mind to? put anything like what are you going to do today if you knew today was the last your last day on earth so that kind of like put a lot of shit into perspective for me also i noticed on my videos the lighting be going in and out in and out i got to figure out how to fix that i'm scared to touch it on my camera because i fuck around with just fuck everything up so i apologize if y'all see that a little bit because i remember i saw that in the last video like the lighting just goes in and out in and out a little bit because like when i move around it brightens up and all type of shit but um yeah so he was talking about like he was talking about that and then like put shit into perspective for me because i'm like damn bro if you really do think about that like every day you wake up you like fuck this could be it like you want it make you want to like do everything that you feel like you need to do or do everything that you feel like is important and not like hold back because a lot of us we hold back and we like take shit for granted because subconsciously we like all right we got another data we got another at bat tomorrow like subconsciously we think that way and we so like uh what is it I don't want to say unappreciative or whatever, but sometimes we are, like, unappreciative of life, and we don't understand, like, like how grateful we are just to be alive, just to be human beings and shit, bro. Like, we really are grateful as hell to be born, to be alive, to be able-bodied. Like, let alone being alive, it's just, like, you also are alive and you can move around. You Like, you can do stuff. Some people aren't able to move their limbs or do certain things that you can do. But it's like, we are all, like, super privileged to be here, bro. Like, and we got to not take that shit for granted. So me watching that video, it kind of just really put stuff into perspective. Like, you want to really put your best foot forward every single day, bro. Like, no matter how, like, hard it may feel, no matter how, like, discouraging it can feel like no matter how non-motivated you might be like if you think about that like bro today could be it bro like how do you want to live this life and i know sometimes if you're depressive and you have like depressive thoughts you like shit today my last day fuck it i want it to be my last day i know how that feel because i've also had those thoughts as well but it's like bro you got to think about it like, man, like, fuck it. Like, a lot of this shit that we be thinking about and worried about really don't matter, son. Like, you really can do whatever you want to do if you just... I know it's cliche, but if you just put your mind to shit, you could really do whatever. It might take a while for shit to happen. Oh, yeah, and in the video, he was like, 
today you could be a winner. You never know. You never, like, I want, you, I want y'all to understand this. I know y'all have heard it all over the place, like, a million times. It might get cliche, but, like, you never know what might happen. The next thing you, like, your next move can really be your best move. Like, your next move can really, like, change your life for good. Like, the next thing you do, the next thing you put out, the next thing you say, the next thing you try, like, can really be life changing for you and it can like shoot your trajectory up and like really take you somewhere that you never thought that you would be able to go that you never thought that life would take you you really never know bro like I I, I know like it's hard to think that way on a day-to-day basis where you like shit man shit not looking good for me I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel like I can't do this. I'm not as good as these people over here that I see. Like, we comparing each other to each other people. Like, we comparing ourselves to other people. And it's like, I know how that shit get, bro. But you really never know, son. The people over there that you looking at that you comparing yourself to, you really could be on your way to surpassing them and having something so much better than what you think they got. It's like the grass ain't always greener on the other side. You don't even know what they going through and what they got going on over there anyway. You just looking at like the shiny shit that's in your face and all the stuff that you think that they doing. But your trajectory and the way like where you're going could be so much better than all these other people that you are looking at. And if you really think that way on a day to day basis, like today could be the day that changed my life forever. Oh, uh, you really, bro, that'll really, like, change your whole thought process. And like I said, that video, like I said, he was going off on niggas. Like, he really was, like, saying some shit in that video about, like, just exposing him, mad Hollywood shit and, act, and fucking comedians and shit. But that part really, I, like, when I saw it, I was like, wait, what part of the video is that? I had to screen record that shit and post it so I could just damn near watch that video every day. Because every time I hit it, it's like... Today could be it. Like, today could be it. If today was it, do you feel like you did everything that you possibly could do? Do you feel like you gave your best foot forward? Do you feel like you gave your best effort? Today it, today could be it. Like, because we really don't know. You don't know when your last day on earth is. And I know a lot of people don't like to think that way. But you don't know when your last day on earth is, bro. You really don't. And I know... When we leave Earth, you really don't know, like, if all this shit going to even matter. But it's, like, it's good to think, like, shit, at least I did something good with my time here, bro, and I didn't waste it. So, I mean, that's up to y'all, man. Like, I want y'all to really think that way, like, on a day-to-day basis. Like, this could be my last fucking day. Like, just do shit. Just do shit. Stuff isn't, it's not as hard as we make it. I feel like we make things so complicated and we always feel like we need this tool or we need a better tool or we need better things to help us do certain shit. It's like, nah, I'll be better if I had this or I'll be better if I had this. No, like what you have right now is good enough to get the job done and to just make shit happen that like just to get the ball rolling. You just need to get the ball rolling. Once you get the ball rolling and you kind of like prove to yourself that you could do shit, that kind of gives you more confidence to keep putting the next foot in front of the other one. It's like, oh shit, I did that. I ain't even think I could do that. So now that you did that, it's like, hmm, let me try this damn shit. Let me, you start getting curious and you like, fuck it. I'm about to just see what's going on. So that's what I really want y'all to like, that's what I really just want y'all to understand, bro. Like, stop overcomplicating this shit, bro. Like, please, because you really are better than what you think you are. We are our worst critics for sure. Like, we really are better than who we who we think we are. Like, um, what what that shit? What Kanye mother say? She was like, when the giant look in the mirror, the, they don't see a giant. They just, you know what I'm saying, they just see themselves. Like, you don't really. You aren't really able to see yourself for who you really are sometimes. And it's like, it kind of fucks up your perspective of yourself. Because it's like, you don't understand how great of a human being you are and how greatly skilled you are and how important you are to society. It's like, you got to know that you are important. Like, you got to know that 
you are here on earth for some specific reason and it's up to you to figure that out and it's up to you to try a bunch of shit in order to really get to it like you i i don't know bro that video just like hit me bro that video really did hit me and it made me just look at life like fuck you right like and it's like i already be thinking about that sometimes but on a day-to-day -day basis life be life and bro so you sometimes just be thinking like, fuck, I don't even know if I got this shit right, but you can't let that fuck you up, bro. You can't let that shit stop you. You can't let that shit slow you down. You can't let that shit make you stagnant. You can't let that shit depress you for too long. Like, <sighs> I don't know, bro. I just want everybody who's watching this video anybody that has something that they love anybody who has goals in life anybody who just has a vision for themselves to really believe that you can make that shit happen like you got to really believe it and kind of put yourself in a position like this has to happen it's like this has to happen it's no if it has a bust about it it's no plan b about it. it's no c d e f like this has to happen there's no other way around this this has to happen and whatever gets presented in front of me that might make me stumble or make me get confused a little bit it's like i know what i'm trying to do i know this gotta happen so whatever this is this i need to just figure this out so i can keep, keep get back on the road you know what i'm saying like that's really how it is and that's really how you got to think about this shit because that's how i think about all the stuff that i'm doing i'm like bro i have no other choice like everything that i'm trying to do in my life it's like I have no other choice. I don't know what else I would be doing if it wasn't what y'all see me do on a day-to-day -day basis, bro. It's just, and that's just creating and being myself, like, and inspiring y'all to be y'all true selves and to believe in y'all selves. Like, I don't know what else I'd be doing. Like, I can't think of nothing else. I have to do what I'm doing. And it has to work. Everything has to work. There's no if and so bust about that shit. Like I swear, it's like this even gonna work on my dad trying trying to do all this shit. <laughs> like facts, all right? And that's just that, bro. Like no funnies. Like that's really just that. Y'all gotta go watch that video though. That video is funny. Like he funny as shit on that joint. But it's always like gems. Like I love watching videos where you you just get like an unexpected gem. You like watching it, you like, damn, this shit funny, or damn, this shit mad serious. Like, you just watching it, but then something in the video is like, it hits you, and you like, fuck. Like, I, I needed to hear that right now. Like, shit like that always hit, hit better. Like, when you didn't even expect them to even, like, say some shit like that. And yeah, man, that shit like, shit like that just be changing my whole perspective, especially when I be needing it, because I be needing that shit. I be needing moments like that to remind me of, like, we doing something great, bro. Like, we all got a purpose in this life. And you just got to just gotta keep going, you get me? <laughs> For real, son. For real. But, yeah, man, it's 2024. I hope y'all, like, I hope y'all really, like, look at this new year and, like, Stay consistent. I know it's the beginning of the new year, so everybody hot and rolling on their, like, New Year's resolution. And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm on top of the world. But as the year start evening out, all the shit you said you was going to do, you slow down on and you stop doing it. So I hope y'all keep this consistency that's going on. I'm trying to keep my consistency. I'm trying to keep my word. I told y'all I was going to be making YouTube videos, kind of getting more active um, and, like, just doing more shit. So... I'm trying to stay on top of that. I want y'all to hold me accountable for that. And I'm going to be holding y'all accountable as well. Um, I see a lot of shit that y'all be doing, whether y'all think I'm not, I don't see it or whatever. I really do, like, be seeing some of the shit that y'all be doing, and I really enjoy seeing it. I really enjoy seeing y'all growth, y'all getting better at certain things and just 
we all evolving at the same time and we all existing in this same moment, bro. Like we are sharing this moment. I know I said this in a video before, but it's like we are literally sharing this moment together right now. Like we are both existing in this world at the same time right now, bro. Like that's so crazy. Like that like we all have some type of relationship with the with each other, bro. It's like we are all experiencing this moment. We have different things that we're experiencing, but like we're here at the same time, bro. Breathing, like heart beating. I don't know, bro. It sounds like I'm on some like zinned out crazy. Like I don't know, but like this really is some real shit. We really are here existing, sharing these moments together, and it feels good to know that there are other people in the world that's trying things, that's evolving, that is adding to the world, that is, like, we all need each other to make this world go around, to make this world beautiful, to make this world have some life in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Like. <sighs> I don't know, bro. I just want to, I just, I just hope that I'm living my purpose. I hope that I'm doing everything that I'm destined to do. And I hope that I'm giving my best foot forward and I'm not bullshitting myself when I'm trying things and when I'm doing things. I want to live up to my full potential. I want to use every part of my creative being. I want to use it for the better, you know. Um, I got a lot of things that be going on in my head and like shit that I be going through but at the end of the day it's like I'm just grateful to be here bro I'm just grateful to be alive I'm just grateful to even be able to do certain things that I do I'm grateful to have people that care about me I'm grateful to be able to care about them and like experience them and like I said I know I have like a weird way of communicating and I know I have like a weird like way that I go about things but like I just hope that the people in my life understand that I love and care about them I hope that y'all understand that I love and care about y'all and appreciate y'all support and like how that shit go a long way like I said we just, we all need each other bro like I know we like to talk about like, oh, we get shit done on our own. I could do all this shit by myself. But at the end of the day, we all need each other. Like something simple down to the fact of like you need whoever is farming the food to get the like it's a system. They got to have a farm. They got to. Have someone to come pick the food up. You got to have someone take it to the grocery store. You got to have someone package that shit. You got to have someone put it on the shelves. You got to have someone to keep restocking it. You got to have someone at the re cash register to ring you up. You got to have, like, you got to have, all this shit is necessary. Like, somebody had to make this camera in order for me to be able to talk to y'all right now. Somebody had to make this mic. Like, somebody had to do all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that we use somebody has to when i'm shipping clothes out somebody has to, i have to trust somebody to take my packages and get them to the destination and get them to whoever ordered my shit like i can't control that whole thing i'm not physically walk flying or walking to each address and dropping that shit off like it's impossible to do that so like we all need each other no matter how much we think we don't need nobody um and I'm saying that even to myself, I be having moments where it's like, I just be like, fuck the world type shit. But when you think about it, you really need somebody to do something for you or you need somebody to have your back at a lot of moments in your life. Um, and yeah, just being appreciative of that and understanding that will really like put shit into perspective. But. Yeah, bro, I'm just trying to live my truth. I'm trying to make sure everything that I do is genuine and can come off as genuine as possible and people can understand that all my efforts are genuine and it's for a better purpose, a better cause, and I'm not just here wasting space, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a 
just pointless, like here for just to be taking up space. Like, I don't want to be doing that shit, bro. Like, I want to at least use this talent, use this energy that God gave me for a better purpose. Uh, and I hope y'all do the same thing. I feel like I've been repeating myself throughout this video. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but it is what it is. Y'all know I don't edit this shit anyway, so y'all just hearing me like vent right now, for real, for real. Um, yeah, man, shout out IHP. You know, I always got to shout them out. You know what I'm saying? Good little, I mean, good tea right here. Happy tears, tea. Um, yeah, man. I just really wanted to get on here and just just say that to y'all because that's just what's on my mind. Um, just live every day like it's your last, bro, because it really could be, and you just don't know, and you don't want the end of the day to come, and you like, damn, I didn't even get my best effort. I didn't put my best foot forward. I just, like, bullshitted with the time I was given. Like, don't take this time for granted, bro. These moments that you're existing in right now, you're going to wish you had these times back, bro. You really are. At some point in your life, you're going to wish you had these moments back, bro. You really are, son. Like, and I know life be moving so fast, bro. Life be moving so fast. And it's like you're so consumed on certain things that you're trying to do and certain emotions you're going through. So it doesn't allow you to be present. But I want y'all to be more present in life. Be more present in the moments that you have with people, with yourself, with the world. Look up at the sky sometimes and just be like, damn, like, appreciate the sky. Like, damn, like, the sun, the grass, the cars driving past, the people walking on the street, the dogs, the birds, the even the fucking rats that be running outside and shit. Like, just appreciate everything, bro. Because it really is a blessing to be here, no matter, like, how it may seem or how it may feel. But, like, it really is a blessing to be here. Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm really, like, just venting right now. No fun, like, no funny. It's like, I felt like, this shit crazy, son. <sighs> I just want to be great, bro. I just really want to be great. <laughs> yeah, man, that's 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 all I wanted to talk about, bro. I ain't gonna talk y'all head off too much in this video. I just I just had that on the top of my brain right now, and I just had to like talk about it and get that off, like, and just try to speak my mind, and hopefully it motivates you to do what you need to do and appreciate this shit, bro. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but. I believe in you, you watching this video. I believe in you and whatever you are going to do in this world is going to be great. You are ne needed in this world. You are needed in this society. You are needed for sure. Anything that you are doing is needed as long as you ain't doing no janky shit, as long as you're not doing nothing bad to nobody. Like You are needed and everything you're doing is necessary. And believe in yourself, believe in your efforts, believe in everything that you are doing. Eliminate doubt as much as possible. Even when, when that shit start to creep up on you, you got to immediately acknowledge it. Like, okay, I, I see you coming here. Like, I see you I see you doubt trying to creep up on me and try to make me not, not feel good about what I'm doing. But I ain't going to let you win. Don't let that shit win. Don't let that shit win, gang. Like, I'm telling you, don't let that shit win. 
Cause that shit'll fuck you up for real. Can't let it win. The more times you let it win, the more it take over you. So you gotta like, you gotta catch that shit right then and there. Like every time you feel it, like hold on, gang. Like hold on. <laughs> I see you. Stop playing. That ain't me. That doubt shit ain't me. That's how you gotta really attack that shit and really address that shit. But. Yeah, man, like I said, I ain't want to talk y'all head off. I just want y'all to live every day like it's your last day on earth, man. Like, really live, like, think about that every single day. Like I said, I got that video on my Instagram right now. So if y'all need to go watch that joint every single day, because I'm going to watch that shit every day. Every day I wake up, I'm going to watch that shit. Any moments where I feel kind of weird or I don't know, I'm going to watch that video, bro. Like, I'm going to watch that shit. That's why I posted it on my page so y'all can watch it too. Live every day like it's your last, bro. Give your best effort every single day. And don't take this shit for granted. You with me? I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with the boy. And yeah, man. Happy New Year's. Let's fuck 2024 up, you dig?